Hi everyone, welcome back to Learn IT with Venkat. Today's video we will see how to design and program for LEDs chaser using Tinkercad environment. We will see how to do it now. Once you log in, uh, circuits create circuit. For this scenario, first I am in need of uh, Arduino. So search and put it inside and use R key to rotate the Arduino board and have like this. And next I am in need of breadboard. So here I am having the breadboard small. Next I am in need of uh, potentiometer. You, we can take this potentiometer and I am going to place it here. And next to that I am in need of uh, LEDs. So here I am going to place it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and uh, 7. So here I have taken 7 LEDs and uh, from the cathode I am going to give it to the negative. So all LEDs cathode I am giving it to the negative slat. Now I am going to change all these cables colors into black. And for the anode which is positive, we are in need of resistors. So for all anodes of all LEDs, I am going to connect the resistor here. Fine. And for this potentiometer, this terminal, I am going to give it to negative and change this into black. And uh, for the last terminal, I am going to give it to the positive and which is I am going to change it into red and uh, in between is the wiper this I have to give it to the analog pin so let it be analog 0 which is going to be the input for this potentiometer through the wiper pin let it be in orange color so this potentiometer is going to give the input going to act as the delay for making this LED blink so when I increase that potentiometer like this the delay will get changed and based on that that LED is going to blink so next I have to give the supply for all these LEDs so for this LED 1 from this resistors leg I am going to give it to the pin number 2 and for the second LED I am going to give it to the pin number 3 similarly for the third I am going to give it to the fourth one and uh, for the next one I am going to give it to the fifth pin and next one I am going to give it to the sixth pin and for this LED I am going to give it to seventh pin and for the last LED I am going to give it to eighth pin. For these seven LEDs I have used the pin number 228 and uh, here from the negative give it to the ground and change this into black color and from the positive give it to the voltage 5 voltage and change this into red color so in this scenario this potentiometer is going to act as an input and these LEDs are going to act as an output so for that I have to code it now so choose code and here change to text continue so for that uh, first I am in need of uh, declaration so int LED1 I have to initialize the pin number so let it be 2 because the first LED which I have connected to the pin number 2 so here I have given it as 2 for LED1 I copied it paste it 7 times so 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and change the pin which is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and this is going to be my variable LED 2 and this is going to be my LED 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 LEDs and followed by that I am going to have a variable called potentiometer and that here for this wiper I have connected with analog 0 so here A0 and uh, I am in need of another variable for holding the delay period so let it be 0 
and another variable to get the input value so in value is my variable okay so these are all the declarations and initialization of variables and now here i am going to decide the setup so the pin mode let it be led1 is going to be act as output copy it and paste it seven times because we have used seven leds two three four five six and seven and change two three four five six and seven and followed by that pin mode of your potentiometer is going to act as an input fine and uh, that's it about the setup next we have to move on to the loop which is going to iterate infinite number of times the first step i have to read the input from the potentiometer so for that I have declared the variable input value in val. So here I am going to give in val equal to. So this you know that where this input has been connected means in the pin analog A0. So analog read is the method. And here that A0 we have stored it in the variable potentiometer. So P O T E N that variable. So here this will read the value of the potentiometer and store it in the value. Actually the potentiometer value is going to be 0 to 1023. So now I have to make this as a delay value. So I have to convert it. So delay period is my variable name. Here we have declared delay period and that has been initialized to 0 at first. So let it be delay period equal to we are going to use one map function for this conversion of values. So map of which value I am going to convert my input value. So in val is my variable which holds the input space. What is that value actually ranges from 0, 1023 is the lower value and a higher value of this input value. Or that means that potentiometer value. I am going to map this to the lower value 0 to 1000 that is the highest value I am going to map it. So this is going to be my input value actual input value I am going to map this input value to this value why because this is going to act as a delay. So for that delay we have to give like seconds and milliseconds so 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second so it stands from 0 to 1000 that is the delay time parameter value so for that we are doing this conversion of mapping so which variables value and that variables value is ranges from 0 to 1023 that has been assigned to the value 0 to 1000 so this is what here happens so that stored in the delay period so what i have to do i have to pass this variable as a delay for this led so here i'm changing digital write off for first LED, LED1 is going to high and uh, how long it is going to high it is going to be this delay period so delay period is the variable fine so now I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it for all the LEDs so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 so here I am going to change it to 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and followed by that here LED 1 is going to off which means low for the same delay period value it is going to act as a delay interval and copy this and similarly here second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh led and change the variable name three four five six and seven that's it so here first all leds will on in the time interval and next round all the leds will get off in the same time interval so when i increase this potentiometer 
that value will be received here and that corresponding value will be converted here as a delay time interval and that variable here supplied in the delay function so in that time interval this led is going to on which means high and that led is going to off okay this is about this program hope you understand now i am going to start the execution so start simulation so here you can see all the leds are on but no delay is here if i increase this potentiometer you can see the changes which is that led chaser you can see the speed of that led and if i move and you can see the time delay which is getting slow and if i increase and uh, if i put it here you can see very slow which is 1 second that is what in the coding here we have given it as delay period to the 1000 0 to 1000 which means 1000 means here they have given 1000 milliseconds 1000 milliseconds equal to 1 second so that led will on for 1 second and off for 1 second so first all the leds will on and then followed by off so if i reduce this potentiometer you can see the changes in the simulation that led will move little bit fast see and okay so this is the led chaser even we can change the colors of led so stop the execution and uh, here i am going to make this as orange so i have changed the colors here and uh, start the simulation now and now you can see the chaser of led is in different colors Okay hope you understand thanks for watching this video if you like this video share with your friends and subscribe this channel for getting more video updates bye bye